I'm going to show you two ways on how you can take a screenshot on your Samsung Galaxy A23 as well as how to take a scrolling screenshot, okay? So the first way to take a screenshot is the most common way. It's a two-key combination, right? It's the volume down and power button. You want to press both buttons together, okay? Volume down, power, ready? Press both buttons together like that, and you can see it just took a screenshot. I'll do it again, ready? Volume down, power. And this thing here pops up. You can go ahead and edit it here. You can share it or whatnot, or you can just leave it just like that, okay? If you leave it just like that, and then it's automatically going to get, all your screenshots will automatically get saved into your gallery's photo right here. So if I tap on that, uh, and then you tap on albums down here, tap on albums, and then you should, I have a, a two folders here. I have one folder called camera, that's where my photos and videos that I've taken it goes into, and then I have a new folder here called screenshots, where all my screenshots are here, and that last one I just took is right here, okay? Now really quickly, the second way to take a screenshot is using the assistive touch. So this way, especially if, you're, if your buttons are broken or they're not working correctly, you can't take a screenshot. You can always use this, the assistive menu here. It's a little floaty thing. It stays on the foreground wherever you go. You just tap on that, tap on screenshot, and boom. Okay, and it gets saved into your gallery again. All right. Now in order to use this, you have to enable that. So really quickly, how you enable that is just go to your settings go to your settings and then from here just scroll down and to you go to see accessibility see accessibility right here let's tap on that right there and then from here let's tap on interaction and dexterity right here and right here assistive menu so if I turn that off you can see that little floaty thing is going to disappear if I turn it back on click on allow boom this floaty thing appears again okay I can touch that and I can tap on screenshot right there. Now also you have what you can do is scrolling screenshots. So for example, I'll open up a browser here and let's say you're at a web page here and you want to take a, a screenshot of like half the web page but instead of taking like one screenshot here, another here, another here, what we can do we can take one screenshot to, for one for the whole entire web page or half of it or whatnot. So for example, we'll take a screenshot here while the browser is open now, down here is a little down arrow down here. Let's tap on that. And now it's going to keep bringing it down to this web page. And you can see how much we have so far. This right here. Let's, let's go down more. You can see how big that's getting. Let's go down one more. Now it's going to get even longer. You can see. And then we'll leave it like that, okay? You can go ahead and edit here. You can share it here. Or we can just go ahead and close it. And now it should be in our gallery um, app here, or photos gallery app. So let me tap on that right there. And then just remember, when you're here, make sure you tap on albums, and then we'll go to screenshots here. And that last screenshot we just took should be right there. And now you can see we can maximize this, and you can see we took like three quarters of that web page. All right? Pretty simple. Good luck.